The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. At that time, Jesus withdrew to the region of Tyre and Sidon. And behold, a Canaanite woman of that district came and called out, Have pity on me, Lord, son of David. My daughter is tormented by a demon. But Jesus did not say a word in answer to her. Jesus' disciples came and asked him, Send her away, for she keeps calling after us. He said in reply, I was sent only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. But the woman came and did Jesus' homage, saying, Lord, help me. He said in reply, It is not right to take the food of the children and throw it to the dogs. She said, Please, Lord, for even the dogs eat the straps that fall from the table of their masters. Then Jesus said to her in reply, O woman, great is your faith. Let it be done for you as you wish. And the woman's daughter was healed from that hour. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. This Gospel passage is tough to hear, especially the beginning of it. It goes against everything else we hear about Jesus in the Gospels. He was always compassionate and merciful. He never refused, ignored, or refused to help someone. He never stood on the letter of the law. And he certainly never called anyone a dog. But we have to remember that in his humanity, Jesus grew up in a specific time and place. He was, he grew up in a Jewish family, and he was part of the Jewish people. He said the Jewish prayers and he worshiped in the Jewish temple. He gathered with others in the synagogues and listened to the Hebrew scriptures. He had a first century Jewish view of the world. In that view, there are two groups of people. There are the Jews and there are the Gentiles. There are the Jews and there's everybody else. The Jews are God's chosen people, and everyone else isn't. This distinction can be seen earlier in the Gospel when he first sent out the twelve. He said to them, do not go to, into pagan territory or enter a Samaritan town. And as we heard him say again in this Gospel, my mission is only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. One of the things that always struck Jesus, though, was faith. Oftentimes when he healed someone, he would say, your faith has saved you. He said that to a woman who was healed simply because she touched his cloak. He healed the servant of a centurion because of the centurion's faith. He healed a paralytic because of the faith of those who brought him. They went to the point of digging a hole in the roof to get him to Jesus. He was able to do few mighty deeds in his hometown. So much did their lack of faith trouble him. Now Jesus encounters faith in a Canaanite woman. Her, she had faith that Jesus could heal her daughter. Her love for her daughter made her steadfast. She accepted being ignored and even being insulted. Because of her faith, Jesus healed her daughter. At the end of the Gospel of Matthew, Jesus will again commission his disciples to go out. This time he will tell them to go make disciples of all nations. Maybe... In his resurrection, it widened his view of his mission. Maybe experiences like we heard about helped Jesus to see that faith has no boundaries. All the way back to Isaiah the prophet, we hear, My house shall be a house of prayer for all people. 
the mission of bringing all people to discipleship continues through us today. And that's why we rejoice this day, because now we get somebody else coming in who's going to help us. But we're going to have to work with her a while to make sure she's ready. 